active. It is bigger than a mid-sized truck, so you're gonna be more comfortable than, in what's in, than sitting in there than what's in the segment, because I want you to take your friends when you go on an adventure. I want you to take people with you, and I want them to be comfortable whether they're in the front or whether they're in the back. Um, from a competitor, it's really interesting because I think more people will come to this from premium vehicles that aren't in the truck space than they'll come from the existing trucks. I think they'll come from sports cars. I think they'll come from areas where the existing truck market with these large vehicles that ride like they're meant to carry packages, meant to have payload. Um, they're nice, they're, they're great products, they sell a ton of them, but from an on-road perspective, we're very different. Yeah, we'll start with the frunk. So it's right behind the lights. We've got our stadium style lighting. It's something that's memorable. If you go home from the show and I call you up in three months, you'll be able to sketch our front end. It's very simple shapes. Right now we're looking at three color options. What we're in here is the forest edge, the green. Okay. We've got the lunar rock, and then we have a, which is in the SUV, and then we have a black interior. Then we've got some of the, uh, the different fabrics. So the Alcantara headliner is a more premium option. We'll be starting to build in October of 2020 in normal Illinois. Um, we own our own assembly plant there. We've got 2.6 million square feet. Uh, we'll be shipping vehicles to customers in December of 2020. Um, it is on a pre-order um, by vehicle variant. So uh, we're building out that order. We're gonna ask customers who have pre-ordered uh, at the end of this year to pick out the variant that they're looking at. Okay. Um, and then we'll start building as many trim options as we can and shipping them as quickly as possible. So there's like two LiDAR, um, you know, decent number, it's somewhere around like I think 18 cameras. What we have is hardware that is level three upgradable from a software side. And we'd launch with a, a version of a level two, you know, on highway. And as we gather more data from our fleet, provide that data up through our vehicle into the cloud that we're building of our own. We'll process that data and we'll improve those systems and those algorithms. And as we feel confident that we can safely deploy that level three system, we'll be able to offer that.